I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Entertainment. Let's talk about Dave Filoni. Because yesterday, we thought Star Wars was saved. Well, except it's still owned by Disney. And it's still Lucasfilm. And we have found out that nothing really has changed recently at all. Now, depending on how you feel about the Favreau and Filoni universe in Star Wars... I'm sure you were extremely happy yesterday. And look, I'm going to be real. Uh, Before I did my research, I was like, wow. I sent John a message. I said, looks like Dave Filoni got a promotion to executive director. Creative director. And for a brief moment, we both went, hell yes. Except, and a little credit goes to my homeboy, Ryan at RK Outpost. That's right. The only guy on YouTube that cusses more than me. And Ryan, that some bitch, was right. This was not a new promotion at all. Dave Filoni has had this job for quite some time with Lucasfilm. Well, and, you know, Ryan made some good points. I just watched the video, and he said, you know, if you feel good about the direction of Star Wars, then you've got to be happy about this. But let it be known, he's had this job since last summer. Well, I think I will say this. From a creative standpoint, in live action, things have been looking better, okay? Um, if you like The Mandalorian, and honestly, even animated. We got The Bad Batch. Haven't watched it. Fired Gina Carano. Well, I turned that off. So creatively, you could say Lucasfilm has been going in the right direction, or a better direction, For eight, nine, ten months now, okay? Uh, The Book of Boba Fett, Obi-Wan is finally happening. It's in production. Hayden Christensen's coming back. Tamora Morrison came back as Boba Fett. He's going to be playing Rex. But, but, here's the problem. Gina Carano is still a massive issue. And it's such a massive issue that Disney has had to cancel one of their projects now let's go over this real fast the mandalorian ep dave filoni's new job at lucasfilm isn't actually new but the fans on twitter got excited anyway the force is strong with dave filoni and so it seems is twitter good twitter good god who gives a fuck lucasfilm quietly promoted the executive producer and frequent writer and director of The Mandalorian to executive creator director for the entire studio. A rep confirms with Variety, but the company didn't update its website with Filoni's new title until this week, which is when it began to percolate and then explode across Reddit and Twitter. If the promotion had just, as if the promotion just happened. Again, last summer, Lucasfilm quietly promoted. Okay, and yeah, you got people that uh, felt real good about it. Ming Nay Wen, who uh, played Fennec Shan, she, I guess she didn't even know. Katie Sackoff didn't even know. Okay, and they gave congratulations to Dave Filoni. So I don't know if this was something that was uh, kept under wraps. Lucas was such an important mentor to Filoni that many fans see the latter as the true heir to Star Wars mythology. The creative mind who best understands what works, what makes Star Wars work and what doesn't. After Lucas sold the company to Disney, Filoni created two more well-received animated series. Star Wars Rebels and Star Wars Resistance. Here we go with Variety, a trade publication trying to change the narrative. Star Wars Rebels was good. I enjoyed it. Star Wars Resistance was straight trailer trash. It was god-awful. I made it through, I think, two and a half episodes, and I said, this is some of the worst Star Wars I've ever seen. Then, Jon Favreau tapped him to executive produce The Mandalorian, Lucasfilm's first live-action TV series. In December, Lucasfilm president announced that Filoni and Favreau are executive producing several Mandalorian spinoffs. The Book of Boba Fett, Ahsoka, and of course, Rangers of the New Republic. And you'll notice, a third announced spinoff, Rangers of the New Republic, is not currently in active development. Kennedy also said the spinoff, which 
all take place in the same basic time period, et cetera, et cetera, is heading towards a storytelling event. And I can tell you just from my own knowledge, you guys know, uh, I keep up with all this and that I used to break a lot of news. Look, this is heading towards some kind of a Favreau-verse endgame type event, okay? Avengers Endgame. We know a 10-year journey to one big event, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers uh, Endgame. That's where we're going with these uh, Favreau's, Favreau and Filoni-verse Star Wars series. Look, that's much better storytelling than we had possibly been getting prior to that. Ryan Johnson, Kathleen Kennedy, Carrie Hart, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't want to act like it's all terrible, okay? But, and Ryan pointed this out, look, Gina Carano, you know, uh, one thing we've not talked about is the fact that uh, Favreau and Filoni didn't exactly save Gina, now did they? Okay, maybe they tried. Maybe they tried and we don't know it. Uh but the fact is, John Favreau, I, I will continue to say, he's got more influence now in Hollywood than Kathleen Kennedy. His record is stronger now. Recent record, 15 years. Last 15 years. Okay, you started the MCU. You've started this new Favreau-verse in Star Wars. You've got real clout. Now, whether or not he tried to use that clout to save Gina Carano... And my guess is he probably did, okay? He probably did try to save Gina. I'm sure he didn't go down without at least saying, hold on now, I think we can figure out how to save this situation. But he didn't save it, now did he? Uh, So, and uh, let's go to this now, because I want to show you guys this. Rangers of the New Republic, and we heard that little snippet no longer in active development at Lucasfilm. All projects were announced during Disney's Investor Day last December. However, one project that was announced has not gained any traction. It's been shrouded in mystery is the Rangers of the New Republic. There have been chatter among insiders that the project was a Mandalorian spinoff centered around Gina Carano's Cara Dune, Bill Burr's Mayfield, and Katie Sackhoff's Bo Katan. You heard that from me. Okay, you heard that from me. Uh, I I made a video about Bill Burr's Mayfield uh, going to be in that series. Though that was never confirmed, others believed it would introduce much smaller scale characters. And again, uh, ne- it was never confirmed. Well, the other thing that was going to go down in that series is you were going to have crossing characters out of The Mandalorian, out of The Book of Boba Fett, probably out of Obi-Wan come in and out of that Rangers of the New Republic series. In an article from Variety discussing Dave Filoni's promotion at Lucasfilm, the trade managed to give that small update, not in current, uh, currently in active development. Our friend at uh, Corey Van Dyke of Kessel Run Transmissions, good lord, shared his knowledge on the project, confirming what the in- insider said. Like I've said before, according to the passing line, is not in current in developments. So he's saying he basically confirmed it. Okay, or he's confirmed it. I'm not sure this is a massive surprise. The star of the show is now no longer with the company. Could they take it in a different direction? Sure. Would they be willing to make the show centered around Bill Burr? I doubt it. I doubt it, because Bill Burr didn't like the fact that Gina Carano got fired. Hell, Carl Weathers didn't. Uh, They're trying to cancel Pedro Pascal right now for having Gal Gadot's back, for crying out loud. Uh, Even though, look, Pedro's gotten a much fair shake with some of his political musings than Gina did. Okay? Uh, Look, I tend to believe that if everybody would have threatened to walk off the Mandalorian set, Gina might still be employed. That includes John Favreau and Dave Filoni. Uh, But, you know, we also know that on Twitter, they would have all been labeled racist. (laughs) I mean, that's the way this works, okay? Uh, And their careers would be over. They'd be blacklisted, all right? Uh, So I'm not, look, I'm not giving them a pass, but behind the scenes, they certainly could have tried to have done something more. 
And uh, I don't I don't know what will happen involving Gina. Uh, I don't know if she would ever be willing to come back if John Favreau's put in the place. I do think Kathleen Kennedy is on her way out. Okay. Um, I don't think she'll make it out of the summer. I think she will be promoted upwards somewhere, but out of Lucasfilm, okay? Um, I think there is some... Here's the problem. We're in a situation where creatively, there is some hope in Star Wars. However, you may have to put your own belief set aside in order to enjoy the better programming, and I'm not sure I'm willing to do that. I'm not sure that anybody's willing to do that. If Gina Carano is not brought back, who knows? Could they be in negotiations for Gina to come back right now? I don't know. They have an entire series they're willing to put on the back burner and or cancel because they don't want Gina Carano back. And the ratings for her Bear Grylls episode, which is which was great and just showed how charming she truly was, I don't know if that's going to influence or not. At some point, investors and money is going to talk louder than anything else. The problem is you've got Disney pulling the damn strings. At the end of the day, Lucasfilm has Disney, the mouse, pulling the strings. Now, whether or not Bob chapek has got a pair, who knows? Tell me what you think, black and white entertainment fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.